Thank you for joining us this morning. You said you defied expectations last night. How is a third place finish defying expectations? Well, listen, we've been through the first three primary states. We won Iowa with a big margin. We came in third in, in New Hampshire in a state where they said a conservative could not do well in a moderate New England state. And then last night, we effectively tied for second. That combination, what that has resulted in is there is now only one strong conservative remaining in this race who can win. And what we're seeing, our game plan from, from day one was do well in the first, first four states and consolidate conservatives to go forward into Super Tuesday. I think we're positioned ideally to do exactly that. You say that, but more than 70% of the voters in the primary yesterday were born again or evangelical Christians, your base, but Trump won them over. So how do you explain that? And doesn't it bode ill for you on Super Tuesday? Well, listen, Donald Trump has proven to be a formidable candidate. Uh, but one of the things the first three states have shown is that there is only one campaign that has beaten or can beat Donald Trump. You know, 70% of people across this country, 70% of Republicans, don't believe Donald Trump is the right candidate to go head to head with Hillary Clinton and beat her in November. And one of the things we're seeing coming out of last night is people across this country are recognizing, okay, if we want to beat Trump, Cruz is the only one who can do it. He's the only one who has done it. And, and part of the reason is, George, you cannot beat Trump coming from the left. You cannot beat Trump with a candidate who supports amnesty. It doesn't work. If you come at the left, to Trump, you will lose. The only way to beat Trump is with a strong, proven constitutional conservative. That's why we've had 980,000 contributions at tedcruz.org, because people across the country are saying, look, we need to actually have a real conservative. And, and, and I think South Carolina will, will only accelerate that You've process. been making that case, but it's not working so far. Donald Trump won New Hampshire, won South Carolina yesterday by a large margin. As you know, no Republican who's won both of those have ever, has ever been denied the nomination. Are you going to be after having to make a new and tougher case against Donald Trump? And what is it? Look, a primary is an ongoing conversation. Everyone in the media said Trump was going to win Iowa. We then had the largest turnout, earned more votes in Iowa than any Republican in history. You know, last night, one of the most encouraging results, our campaign, we won young people in South Carolina. We won young people. You know what? We also won young people in Iowa. That's two states in a row in which we young, won young people. And even New Hampshire, we were in second place with young people. You know, you want to talk about where the excitement, where the energy is. Young people want a brighter future. They want jobs. They want their constitutional rights protected. And I got to say, one of the things that was remarkable is if you look at South Carolina, we had millions and millions and millions of dollars of attack ads coming against us. We had Marco, who was just on, was endorsed by a very popular governor of the state, very popular senator, very popular congressman. All the establishment circled their wagons around Marco, and yet he still only came in second after his campaign promised everyone they were going to win the state. You know, frankly, if I'd have done that in Iowa, look, in Iowa, we had the heavy hitters come behind our campaign. If we'd have come in second or third, you guys would have barbecued us for having all the big hitters behind us and not winning it. Well, we won Iowa. And even though all the big hitters were behind one of our opponents in South Carolina, we still effectively tied for second. That, and what we're yeah, doing that, systematically, na nationally, is unifying that, conservatives. That may, that may be true. But as long as you and Marco Rubio are going after each other, doesn't that give Donald Trump a clear path? Look, no doubt, and I, and I thought the question you asked Marco a minute ago about why he's afraid to take on Donald Trump is, is, is a great question. You know, if you look at Donald, Donald devotes all of his time and energy, all of his money to attacking me. Uh, that demonstrates that Donald sees me a, a, as the only real threat to him. And for that matter, Marco devotes all of his time and energy to attacking me as well. He's been unwilling or afraid or, or for whatever reason, he won't take on Donald Trump. If you want to beat Donald Trump, You've got to go with the only campaign that has demonstrated we can beat Donald Trump. And I'll tell you, going into Super Tuesday, I think we are positioned nine days from today to have an amazing day in Super Tuesday. Our base on the ground is strong. And listen, Republicans want a real conservative. They don't want someone like Donald Trump who supported Jimmy Carter and John Kerry and Hillary Clinton, who supported expanding Obamacare into socialized medicine, who supported the Wall Street bailouts and cronyism and the Obama stimulus. They want instead someone who will stand up to the Washington deals. We will be watching. Senator Cruz, thanks for joining us this morning.